This is a very large and very sensitive neutron detector. It's a proportional tube containing helium-3 gas. And it is hooked up to this NIM bin, which contains the electronics for processing the signal, as well as some output indicators. We're going to be uh, uh, looking at the rate meter here in particular. You can see the needle now is close to zero. There are very few neutrons uh, from uh, background being detected. We're going to uh, place a neutron source near this neutron detector. Specifically, this neutron source. This contains five millicuries of americium, an alpha emitter, uh, in contact with beryllium metal. So it makes a few thousand neutrons per second at a mean energy of somewhere between 4 and 5 MeV. There's a little bit of tape on the back and I'm going to simply tape it about halfway up this neutron detector tube. Now let's take a look at our meter and see where that is. It's just a hair off zero. There's very little uh, being detected in the way of neutrons. Uh, why is this? Well, the helium-3 uh, is a good absorber of slow neutrons and the neutron source, as I said before, is making neutrons at uh, 4 to 5 MeV, so it's making high energy neutrons. Let's see if we can uh, add some material around this uh, arrangement to help reflect and slow down uh, the neutrons. Let's add two big pieces of plastic. This is uh, polyethylene under the middle of this tube. Now we have some moderator and reflector material uh, in our experiment. Let's uh, take a look at our meter now. We see it's a little higher than it was before. It's still not very high, but uh, we are getting discernible counts from neutrons being detected. Let's add some more plastic. We have now surrounded the uh, source and the tube on three sides with uh, fairly dense plastic. Now we are getting some counts. In fact, our uh, meter is about a third of the way upscale. Let's add one more piece of plastic. Now our detector and source are surrounded on four sides by fairly thick plastic and the meter is indicating about half scale. In other words, that's about 50 counts per second uh, being produced by this neutron source. So what we've demonstrated is that uh, we have a fast neutron source and a very sensitive slow neutron detector. When the fast neutron source is placed next to the detector by itself, very few neutrons are detected. When we add some reflecting and moderating materials, that uh, help return neutrons into the detector at low energy, we see we get a, a much larger response from this detector.